Student engagement and participation plays an important role in active learning and icebreaker activities can help build engagement. Let's watch Sarah open her first community development class of the semester by running a poll with interactive questions to connect students with each other and with the subject matter of the course. Everyone, welcome, welcome. This is our first class, um, online synchronous class for community development and engagement, as you can see on the screen here, MGMT 89. 3 we're in section one. We meet every week on Wednesdays at one o'clock. Uh, this is the same Zoom link that we'll be using each week. It's so wonderful to see some of your faces and to meet you. Uh, we're at the beginning of the semester and I am your professor. I'm Professor Sarah Kafishan. I will be leading you and supporting you throughout the semester in this course. So let's get started. We're talking about community development. All of you are enrolled. This course is part of this program, which is a postgraduate program, Management in Community Services. So we're all interested in communities and understanding how to engage with communities and develop community resources, develop community action plans. I thought we could start today with a little activity to build our own little community the community that we have here in this Zoom classroom setting. So I'll launch a few polls for us to get to know each other. Um, so the first question that I'm gonna launch has to do with your previous experience. I know many of you have worked in community development before and you have um, gained a little bit of understanding in different sectors, right? Whether it's working with homelessness, uh, whether it's working in areas around disabilities. I myself, just so you know, I've worked within mental health and addiction sector. I've worked within disabilities. For example, in mental health, I, I launched programs to support individuals uh, with their mental health. And with disabilities, I was part of a team that looked at evaluating an independent travel program. So it was a community program to support um, people with disabilities so that they could learn how to take the public transit to uh, different parts of the city. So let me launch this, post he uh, this poll here so that I can learn a little bit more about the wisdom that we have and the experience that we have in this, in this class. So you should see the poll right now. Can one of you just give me a thumbs up or drop in the chat or that you can see it, please? Great. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you, Lenre and Baumik, all of you give me a thumbs up. So the question is, what areas of community development have you worked in? And feel free to choose all that apply. So we've got several sectors here or several areas, homelessness, mental health and addictions, disabilities, youth or senior sector, and the education sector, food insecurity, gender equality, racial equality, poverty reduction, and then last but not least, environmentalism and sustainability. Okay, great. I've got almost all of you, and there you go, 100%. Wow, we really got a lot of experience here. Okay, let's, let's see. I'm going to end the poll and I'm going to share the results. You should be able to view the results right now. Yeah, I'm seeing some nods. Fantastic. Okay, so in our classroom, we've actually got a lot of experience in several areas. That's really fantastic. Um, half of our class has, has had experience in disabilities, youth or senior, education, gender, as well as gender equality and sustainability, which is fantastic. I look forward to hearing about your experience as we learn about those topics. We're going to be talking about those topics throughout the semester. So I welcome your work experience and the knowledge that you learn working in these sectors. And then a smaller portion, about a quarter of our students have worked in racial equality, poverty reduction, and food insecurity. Fantastic. Great. No, no one here has worked in homelessness or mental health and addictions. 
Um, I've worked in both sectors. And so we can talk about that. If you have questions about those sectors or those sectors interest you at all, we can definitely talk more about that as we go out through the semester. So thank you. I'm going to stop sharing now.